Ferguson is one of the hardest issues I have tackled as a public official. And the reason is there seems to be an inability in the narrative that has been set up to some extent by the media for folks to walk in the other person's shoes. And by that I mean the African American protesters are, have every reason to be speaking out about institutional racial bias in this country. And I do think what's happened to our country over the last year is finally stimulating. And Jeff Smith's here. He's writing an amazing book that will contribute to the conversation of criminal justice reform in this country. It is an imperative topic we've got to tackle. Having said that, this us versus them mentality that's been set up by Ferguson, that it's the police versus the protesters, it's terribly counterproductive. And I've listened, I won't say what media outlet, but I've been doing all these media hits, and this happened yesterday. I listened to the intro about Ferguson yesterday afternoon in my earpiece. And I'm listening to this intro, and it's like a state of emergency. And blah, blah, blah. You know, and you would think the place is burning down. Then I heard the anchor talking to the reporter in Ferguson, and you know what the reporter said before he went on? You know, nothing's happening here. It's so quiet. And I went, isn't that really part of the problem? I saw times in Ferguson when there were five cameras for every one protester. The narrative got away from the reality that there are good people coming together and doing reform. We have we got a long way to go, but we've made progress. But this notion that I've got to be on one side or the other, I flatly reject it. I know most of the police officers are of good heart and want to, to police their communities with respect. I know that most protesters are not hoodlums or thugs. The vast, vast majority of them are wonderful Americans that work hard and love God. And so the notion that we now have this narrative set up that it is us versus them, I'm going to work as hard as I can to keep pushing against that because I don't think that's how we're going to solve any problems. It's just going to make it worse. And the media is part of that problem. Sorry, Mika. We had the same problem in Baltimore with the coverage, mm -hmm. with you know one building burning, and that you would have thought Baltimore, the was entire city down. was burning. No, right. I totally hear you.